One of my favorite features of Emacs is Org Mode. For those of you who may be unfamiliar, Org Mode is an Emacs mode for authoring structured documents in a simple plain text format, much like Markdown. However, Org Mode provides a wider range of features than simple text editing. On top of basic document creation, Org Mode allows you to maintain to-do lists, track the amount of time you've worked on given tasks, embed code snippets, easily rearrange the document structure, and export the final product in a variety of formats. There are tons of great tutorials that tout the greatness of Org Mode, and I hope to be able to record some myself in the future. But for today, I wanted to focus on handling embedded code within your document. So let's start by looking at a small example of an Org Mode document. As you can see, the markup is concise and easy to read. Each line, starting with an asterisk, denotes a different header section of the document. Each asterisk corresponds to a deeper nesting level of the document, which makes organizing your content quite easy. This document can quickly be converted to a PDF with a few short keystrokes. I press Ctrl C, Ctrl E, P to convert the file to a PDF. And I'll open that here so you can see the generated output. Nice, huh? So let's say we wanted to add some Python code to this document. I can easily do this by typing in some Python. And the first thing you'll notice is we're having a bit of a problem with indention. You see, Org Mode helps maintain your document structure by controlling your alignment when specifying text. If I really wanted to be able to tab in, I would have to insert a literal tab with Control Q Tab, which quickly becomes tiring, even for this short code example. But let's just get our teeth and bear it for the time being. So I'll just paste in the rest of the snippet here. Let me just quickly fix the formatting. So now that our code snippet is in place, let's re-export our file and see the results. Ugh, that's horrible. As you can see, a lot of the formatting has been mangled. And luckily for us, Org Mode has a solution. You can wrap your code snippets in begin source and end source tags, which tells the exporter to treat these specific lines as code blocks and preserve the formatting we so painstakingly created. To do this, we just add hash plus begin underscore source and then at the end of the snippet, we do again a hash plus and then in source. Of course, if you're writing a lot of code in your document, typing the begin and end source tags quickly becomes tedious. And once again, org mode has the answer for us. There's a shortcut you can use, which is less than s. Simply type this in, hit tab, and the beginning and ending code blocks have been added for us. This is certainly way more convenient. Another nice feature of these code blocks is that you can specify the language that the code is written in. Provided you have configured the appropriate settings, this will allow the code snippets to have syntax highlighting applied on the output. Since this is Python, we'll specify Python as the language. And you'll notice once I've added the language, I immediately get nice syntax highlighting for my code snippet. So let's see that in action. That's much better. So now I'll just quickly show you how I've configured org mode to handle the situation. And it's these four lines that are required. It is important to note that my configuration relies on two external libraries, Minted for the latex processing phase and the Python Pigment library. So now we have an easy way to add source blocks and we can even color our output. But what about all that manual formatting? Surely there's a better way, right? Well, this is Emacs. Of course there's a better way. When we're within the code block, we can press Ctrl C, single quote, and Emacs will open a temporary buffer where we can edit our code. And even better yet, that buffer is in the mode of the language we've specified, providing us with all of the power Emacs offers for our language of choice. This includes appropriate format handling, nice keyboard shortcuts, and accurate syntax highlighting. So let's just make a quick modification here. We can see that indention is working as expected. Once we're done editing the code, we can press Ctrl C, single quote again, and our revision will fill the source block. Now there are just a couple of other quick features that I'd like to show you. 
At the end of the beginning source tag, we can add the hyphen in flag. And org mode will export the code with line numbers. So let's just see that real quick. If we did a plus in, it would instead continue the numbering from the last code snippet provided. If we go back into our editing buffer for the snippet, again with control C, single quote, we can navigate to a line and press control C L or interactively execute org store link. And this prompts us for a link name. So we provide a descriptive one and then press control C, single quote again to return to our document. And we'll see now there's this embedded reference. At the end of our source, uh, begin source tag, we'll add the hyphen R. To tell org mode, we're going to be using this tagging feature. And then in our body, we can reference the label with control C, control L. And typing out the link name. We can provide a description, but we're not going to for this. And now we can use this within our document to reference the line number of the reference code snippet. We'll just recompile that again to take a look. So you can see in our code snippet, username is on line 5. And the document now has that reference to username replaced with the appropriate line number. This makes it very easy to reference the line of interest without having to worry about later modifications, which may cause the line number in our code to become out of sync. So as you can see, work mode is an extremely powerful and flexible option when crafting structured documents. I use it religiously for writing blog posts, taking notes at conferences, or during lectures, and for pretty much anything that requires more than a couple lines of text. To learn more about org mode, head over to orgmode.org. Thanks.